What's going on everyone and welcome back to our all women run of Eternum. Before we begin for today, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, link in the description below to my Patreon if you want to give that a look. Let's get back into the story. Alrighty, let's continue the story we last left off with the Afrenda with Luna's grandmother. Time, but food is ready. Let's go. Don't worry, sweetie. We were already done here. Let's go eat. Yes, I'm starving. I don't know what it is, but it smells fantastic. Ooh, look at all that yummy. Oh, yum. Damn, Victor. This is quite impressive. Well, we were forced to change the original plan because someone forgot to buy the ingredients I asked him to, but it'll do. Are you blaming me? There's more than enough. It looks delicious. Are these your famous tacos, Victor? Correcto. Eat as many as you want, Orion. Thanks, sir. Make sure to fill your plate too, Luna. You've got to eat more. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, and by the way, thank you so much for inviting me to your house, Hugo. Uh, don't even mention it, Ryan. It's my pleasure. I like having guests. Wish my daughters would come visit me more often. I've got to ask, though, what do you do for a living? A house this fancy must have cost a fortune. Actually, that's a good question. You see, I'm running a cartel and a human trafficking ring. <laughs> okay. I see that the joking around and sarcasm are genetic. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Ha uh, uh, why is someone laughing? <laughs> Here you go. What's your job? <laughs> um, you go. Victor? Luna? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I swear I tried, but I couldn't stop myself from laughing. I knew it. This is just another one of your jokes, eh, Victor? <laughs> Damn, you caught on to me so quickly. You're right, though. I couldn't help it. Well, I'm glad that Hugo isn't involved in human trafficking. <laughs> oh, God, no, I don't have the guts. I wouldn't hurt a fly. Don't worry, Orion. I do run a cartel, though. You really have me going? Wait, what? Oh, mama, can you pass me that picture from the shelf? We're still joking, right? The one with Luna when she was little. Yes! That! Come on, sweetie, you're so adorable. Here it is. Do you want to see it, Orion? Of course. Oh, that is adorable. Luna's already wearing her gloves, so I guess this pic was taken after her mother died. How old were you here? She was only five years old. I just picked her up from kindergarten. I was 11! Really? Damn, feels like ages ago. <laughs> my little girl's growing up right before my eyes. Dad, <laughs> please, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> I love this photo. Can we start eating already, please? Oh, yes, I'm so hungry. Try one of my tacos, Ryan. It's my special secret recipe. Like we discussed the other day, they're extra spicy. Careful, Ryan. My dad says extra spicy. He means it. The sauce is really spicy. I appreciate the concern, but seriously, there's no need to worry. I can withstand spicy food. I don't want to brag, but I used to add Tabasco to my spaghetti when I started cooking my own meals. That's it. I think I've almost become immune to it. Ow! Mmm. Mmm! This... <laughs> He's dead. He is all kinds of dead. Is anything wrong, Orion? You don't like my tacos? Jesus fucking Christ. Is my mouth on fire? Are you okay? Started sweating quite a bit. Ryan, your paints. I'll have to redo it. Huh? Oh. <laughs> no, no. They're perfect. Absolutely delicious. Ah, oh, I'm glad. You do appreciate them. You're sure they're not a little too spicy for you? Too spicy? Not at all. Just how my top body typically reacts to ethnic food. It's in them, out of curiosity. Ground beef, tomato, cheese, avocado, 
fresh garnishes, and Carolina Reaper, the hottest chili pepper in the world. Ah, yeah, that's a perfect touch. I can taste it. Can I get a drink? Of course. Uh, Michelada? Mexican beer with chili based spices served in a salt rim glass. Chili? Sounds exactly what I need, sir. <laughs> Maybe I must be loving it. Yours are, he's probably still dying. Ugh. I can't eat another bite. I'm about to explode. Yeah, I've never been so full. Everything was just too good. Thank God they had milk to counteract the spice. I'm going to clean my face and do some sunbathing on the upstairs terrace before the sun goes down. And of course, honey, just make sure to put on some sunscreen. That sounds good. Do I have enough time to join her for a bit? Sure, no problem. I'll leave her credit in 20 or 30 minutes. I'll do the dishes in the meantime. Sweet. Thank you, Victor. I can offer to help? What the hell? It's too bad I can't spend more time here with Luna. I feel at home with her family. But hey. Better make the most of it while I'm here. <clears throat> Did I hear Pancho running around up here? Can he climb stairs? Yeah. Can you close the door? My uncle gets nervous when he can't find Pancho. <laughs> this damn chicken is smarter than any of us. Won't be surprised if he knew how to open doors too. That's... Oh boy. Uh, that's a butt. <laughs> She took her dress off and put her bikini back on. I thought I wouldn't be able to see her wearing it after we changed clothes. The god smiles at me again. <laughs> you changed so fast. Yeah, the dress was easy to take off. And the paint fades with a little water. Yep, I noticed that. It almost felt bad while washing my face. Oh, don't worry. I always have the photos we took. And we can come back another day. Yeah, yeah, loves putting makeup on people, and my uncle loves having visitors. I mean, if you ever want to come back, of course. There's definitely enough rooms for an overnight stay, like a big sleepover. And I'm sure my family wouldn't mind. They really liked you. The feeling is mutual. I'd love to come back, of course. Thanks, Luna. We could even go hiking. These mountains are beautiful. Eight? There's a nearby pond with a small grotto where you can swim, too. Oh man, I have to see that. Sign me up. I could spend hours staring at these views. I bet these woods hide a lot of secrets. Yeah, this Terrence is my uncle's favorite spot in the house, actually. Oh, I can see why. I assume that's why he installed this massage table here. Yeah, he told us he even hired a couple masseuses to visit from time to time. Ah, uh, living the life. It's very comfortable and it's water resistant. So I usually sunbathe here after a quick swim. I see. Offer to give her a massage. You know, we have a few minutes left and I'm pretty talented masseur myself. Be ashamed to waste this table. A massage? Like, you're offering to give me one? Yep. Do you remember Delia's back injury? It was me who miraculously healed her in less than a week right in time for a competition. That's all thanks to my special massage technique, of course. <laughs> I remember her mentioning that, actually. So, what do you say? Do you want one? Uh, okay. You really don't mind. I won't say no. You've convinced me. Sweet. No one can refuse one of my rubdowns. Oh, bet. Well, I don't know many people who refuse, who would refuse a free massage. Unless the person offering it had some sort of ulterior motive. <laughs> There's no hidden agenda, I promise. I can, use some sun I can use some sunscreen oil too if you want. Yeah, sure. I could use some of it on my lower back. There's a bottle under the table. Excellent then. Thank you for signing up for our premier massage package here at Richard's Massage Parlor. Are you ready, ma'am? <laughs> sure. Sweet Lord have mercy. This view is almost too much. Ah, but luckily, you're not an animal, Ryan. Inhale and exhale. Now. Though, so, if Luna wanted to be an animal... Orion? <clears throat> yeah. I was saying, 
Oh yeah. Please relax and prepare to enjoy the experience, ma'am. <laughs> uh huh. You gently put your hands on Luna's lower back. Your skin immediately tenses and her breathing begins to pick up. Is everything okay? Yes. It's just that your hands are cold. Oops, my bad. On the other hand, your skin feels really warm after being exposed to the sun for such a long time. Sorry about that. No problem. <laughs> She's not used to being touched. You start, start massaging Luna's lower back at a steady pace, squeezing your fingers in a firm but tender manner. Your lower back muscles are really tense, Luna. You're full of knots. Am I? Yeah, totally. And what's the solution? Well, my years of massaging experience have prepared me for this. It'll have to be a lengthy treatment. You'll need lots of relaxing, periodic caresses from a trustworthy masseur. <laughs> that would be you. You happen to be in luck, ma'am. <laughs> I think that's a treatment plan I can follow. Little by little, Luna's muscles begin to relax as the temperature of her hands and her body even out. Starting to feel better. Yeah, it feels great. I'm glad. Do you like to sunbathe when you have the opportunity? I do. My skin is so pale that even if I manage not to get sunburned, I end up with this ridiculous tan lines. I usually avoid it. I see. You can remove the top of your bikini if you want. Uh, what? Uh, I mean, did that sound too forward? You know, if you don't have tan lines. I've heard that's what Penny, uh, Penny does to avoid tan lines for her modeling shoots. I know that most women try to avoid them. Oh, sure, good idea. I'll have to thank Penny next time I see her. Luna takes off her beginning top and drops it next to the table. <laughs> Damn, I didn't think that would work. I'm glad it did. Oof, your legs are super tense too. You're lucky that I got here in time. <laughs> I'll have to re recommend your services to everyone I know. You're very caring. Well, it's the duty of a good masseur to leave every one of their customers satisfied. Here at Research Massage Power, customer satisfaction is priority numero uno. <laughs> That's a good policy. She's totally relaxed now. Feels like she trusts me completely. For some reason, that makes me feel special. I just want to make her feel safe. Is that normal? I mean, fuck. I'm massaging a half-naked girl with a 10 out of 10 body. I can only think of how nice it is that she's feeling comfortable around me. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, Jesus, Luna's body is breathtaking. The way she's arching her back makes her curvy butt stand out even more. I wonder if she's doing that on purpose. <laughs> oh, good Luna. You're so quiet all of a sudden. Please tell me you didn't fall asleep. That would be devastating for my customer reviews. No, I didn't. I'm feeling better than I thought I'd be. It's just that I love the feeling of your hands. You weren't exaggerating about your expertise. It's like a pampering sensation. Happy to hear that. Uh-huh. Get closer or don't push it. Oh, come on. It's Luna. She's so awkward. It's already so nervous. You don't push it. If you want to change your position or want me to change anything, just let me know. The most important thing is that you are comfortable. I'm doing terrific. Just, do you mind if I turn around? No, nope, not at all. Oh boy. Is she going to put her top back on or? Thank you. Doesn't seem to be the case. This is a little embarrassing though. Nonsense. You have nothing to worry about. Our employees are strictly professional. Their gaze never drifts to where it doesn't belong. Just relax and continue enjoying your massage, ma'am. Hehe, <laughs> uh-huh. My god, Luna's skin feels softer than silk. She barely has any body hair, and it almost looks like porcelain. She's completely changed since the beginning of the massage. It almost feels like she's asking me to touch it, to caress it. I know she's not used to touching other people with her bare hands, but she's probably not used to any other kind of physical contact either. 
Maybe that's what makes it so special. The bird song above is only interrupted by the noises of your hands rubbing against Luna's body and the soothing sound of her soft sighs and small moans. Man, this is getting hotter and hotter every second, and we're not even saying anything. I wonder what she's thinking about right now. She looks so deceptive. Would it be crazy trying to make things a little bit more intimate? Does it feel good, Luna? Uh-huh. Want me to change the position of my hands? You just have to say so. Your hands? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't want to cross any line that would make you uncomfortable. Oh, don't worry. I feel safe in your hands. I feel good. All right. Move your hand along Luna's thigh. All right, she didn't flinch. So far, so good. Luna lets out a slight moan. Are you okay? I can stop. No, don't. Don't stop. It feels good. Uh, you want you to touch you? Yes, I want to feel your hands all over my body. She flees to Terrence with them covered and turns back towards you. God, that was awkward. What the hell happened? Everything was perfect and then... God damn it. I hope she doesn't regret what we did. You know this was a huge step for Luna. Uh, anyways, I guess I should get dressed too. I just hope she's not angry. Luckily, knowing Luna, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Or, I hope so. A few minutes later. Uh, Alright, ready to go. Damn it. I was kind of expecting to see her waiting for me here. Am I really going to leave like this? That farewell was cold. Ugh, I ruined a perfect day. Should I go back inside to look for her? Maybe I can fix it. Uh, go back inside. Yeah, of course I'm going back. I have to find her. I can't leave without a proper goodbye. Let's... You turn around, see Luna standing in the middle of the pathway. Luna! I thought you wouldn't come say goodbye. Of course, I... I'm sorry I felt like that. I, I left like that, excuse me. It's just that I was startled. <laughs> Guess that makes sense, given the situation. I'm honestly not sure how that escalated so fast either, but I'm glad that I had that moment with you. It was amazing. Not only the massage, everything was amazing today. Thank you for coming today, Ryan. I know you probably had a thousand things more fun to do than spending a day with me and my family, so I appreciate it a lot. Thousand things, surely. But more fun? No way. I could spend every day with you and never get bored. I've never opened up to anyone about my powers, my insecurities, or my thoughts. But with you, it's different. I I feel safe when I'm with you. As if I could tell you anything. Thank you for being there for me, Ryan. I'll always be there for you, Luna. Always. <clears throat> Text me when you get back to credit. Will do. Will I see you Monday at school? Definitely. All right then. Take care, Luna. I'll miss you. Oh. Oh, that was definitely but. And it grabs you by the arm with her bare hand. This time, but nary a shudder. What? When we were at the pool before, and I touched you without my gloves. Did you try to kiss me? What? <laughs> I thought you didn't notice. Um, yeah, I did. Oh, here we are again. This time, though, she doesn't even have to say anything. Her eyes are telling me everything I need to know. <laughs> One option. Perfect. Well, after we just did do her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you and Luna silently merge your lips in a long, lingering kiss. Probably her first kiss ever. Sorry, that was probably very clumsy. It was perfect. I just hope I didn't taste like your dad's tacos. <laughs> you didn't, don't worry. Now I have something to think about during my return trip. I guess so. Oh, I've gotta go. I think my grandma wants to go for a walk. I should probably try to find my boots. All right then, 
Take care, Luna. I'll miss you. Me too. Have fun at tonight's party and tell my dad to be careful when driving. <laughs> I will. You have fun too. Now that was a great good goodbye. I hear Luna go back inside and swear you can see her doing a little jumps from the corner of your eye. <laughs> I am ready, sir. I'll miss you, brother. Me too, Hermanito. I miss me you'll pop back for Christmas. Don't worry, I'll come back sooner than that. And hey, I'll see you tomorrow. You have to bring my daughter back to me. Oh, I promise nothing. We love her too much. <laughs> Don't make me come back. Be careful driving, Victor. Oh, I'm leaving too. Miss Hernandez, Hugo, thank you so much for inviting me to your home today. I had a lot of fun. My pleasure, Orion. We enjoyed having you here with us. You're such a nice lad. A man who could survive my brother's extra spicy tacos is always worth my respect. I'm glad you're friends with my little niece. Aw, uh -huh. thanks again for joining the Afrenda of Luna's mother and saying a few words around. Yes, pick the right ones. It meant a lot to me. Hey, you can come back whenever you want. Thank you very much. The pleasure was all mine. All right, Orion, are you ready? Ready. And get in the car! Vera will take us back to credit in five hours, or maybe less. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit of a speed demon. Okay, so a few hours later, I'm just moving my thing there. A few hours later. Ah, uh, home sweet home. Uh, still an hour left until the party starts. Still can't believe Mr. Hernandez managed to arrive on time. That man sure knows the road. I think I received some messages earlier. Are you there already? Yep, I just got home. Oh. That's... Oh, I think I click on it. Okay. Cool. I was about to play some internum. I brought all the equipment with me. Cool, have awesome, have fun. Uh sounds awesome, have fun is what you want. I'm playing with Andy later. Any server you think she'd like? Uh, not the fishing a fishing simulator. <laughs> not not the fishing simulator. It says on the walkthrough. Uh, anything with fights and a lot of action. Ah, I know the perfect one. Well, I don't want to bother you too much. See you later. Bye. Click the chance. I'll actually click. There it is. I wish I could play with them. I'm sure the two of them make a great team. Let's see what else. Where are you? You didn't live with the Carters anymore? I just got home. Your home? I just got out of there. Wait for me, I'm going back. All right, I won't move an inch. <laughs> so she spent the afternoon here. That's pretty nice. I'm glad to see Nova becoming friends with Penny, Dahlia, and Nancy. Oh, I got a response from Andy too. Sorry, I've been shopping all day with Nancy and I had no signal. Did you ask me if you look stronger? Yes, I took this photo this morning at Luna's. It's okay, no worries, I was just being silly. Uh, nope, you wanna do the photo one? <laughs> Annie? Yeah, wow, I mean, yeah, you look great. Stronger than you were a few months ago, definitely. Right? I thought so too. Glad you like it, winky face. <laughs> Cred makes everything grow faster. Look at my hair! It's so long already! <laughs> uh, and you want to do wow, I love it. Thank you! I'll let it grow until it's as long as you turn them. Uh, can't wait to see that, is what we want to pick next. Now I just wish you'd taken that photo vertically. <laughs> Skip game to that because of the photo. <clears throat> Oh boy, that photo was sexy as hell. I'm saving that to my private gallery. And, well, that was all. I hope Nancy, uh, Nova doesn't take too long. Can't really wait too much long. Hi! Ugh! <laughs> Why does everybody have to scare him? you never change, will you? He, <laughs> hey, he didn't scream this time. Just a little gasp. Must be getting used to your sneak attacks. I'll have, to I'll have to up my game. Can you be dressed by now? The party will begin shortly. No worries. 
I left everything I need in my room and my mom will do my hair. It won't take me more than 30 minutes. Ah, see you got it covered. All right, girly, what do you need from me then? Why'd you come back? I finished what I was drawing. Oh, awesome. We came to see Penelope and I brought this with me in case you were here. Do you want to see it? Of course. Nova opens her folder with shaky hands and gives you two sheets of paper. Huh. I'm trying to read what it says. Soon the 10 gems will be mine and I will rule over a sea of blood. It's over, Thantos. You are no match for... I can really not read that. <laughs> that's awesome. That looks amazing. Huh. Holy shit. That's a manga comic. And wait, is that? <clears throat> oh, okay. Zoom in. Perfect. She starts imitating Thanatos' voice, trying to sound somber and imitate, uh, intimidating. Soon the 10 gems will be mine and I will rule over a sea of blood. Oh, it's right there. Okay, good. <laughs> you nailed him. She imitates the sound of a shot with her mouth. It's over, Thanatos. You're no match for Delia, Delia, Warren, and Dion. You're no match right there. <laughs> Damn, I love Anime Nova. Hehe, <laughs> thanks. Why is she holding a rifle like that, though? Don't interrupt. Clack. Nova makes a metallic sound with her mouth that you can't identify. She's reloading the magazine. Oh. Whoosh. He's so fast. You pathetic creature. I will kill you just as I killed him. I love how much passion and enthusiasm she's putting into her narration. Bam. <laughs> oh. Nothing personal, demon. Just taking out the trash. Damn. That's my line. <laughs> yes. This last panel took, looks so cool. Oh, huh, am I crazy? Or she'd draw herself with bigger boobs. Her anime self even has the same mole on your chest. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. I want it to be accurate, you know. I didn't think you'd remember that. Hard to forget. Oh, there's the next page. Oh, yeah, there's two pages. But yeah, that's cool. That is so good. Like, holy shit. That is so good. Man. <laughs> Look back at Nova, who stands in front of you, eagerly waiting for your final reaction. Man, love it. Are you kidding me? Even if that wasn't the correct choice, I'd still pick that. I just love it. Really? Do you like it? Seriously, I love it. You ace the characters. I can't believe you were able to draw Thanto so accurately after just meeting him once. Thank you. I have good memory. I've always loved manga, so I thought I'd try it out. And I know you're into this stuff too, so... You're just full of surprises, miss. I really like how my anime self looks. Oh, you mean the guy who rescues the girl from Thanto's? It's just a random hero. A random hero? Uh, yeah, it's not supposed to be anyone in particular. I mean, he has my hairstyle, hair color, green eyes, skin. He says my quotes. Well, I might have been inspired by people I know. An amalgam, amalgam of the coolest guys I know. Haha, <laughs> uh, yeah, that makes sense. Well, in any case, can I keep it? Even if the hero of the manga is totally not me. Yes, you can. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, we should just get going already, don't you think? Yes, you're right. I'll see you and Penny soon. Sure. Thanks again for the manga. You're welcome. You're welcome. Bye. That's a sweet ass looking manga. Well, wow, this was unexpected. Not everyone gives gifts without reason like she did. And I really meant it. She nailed it. I can tell that she spent dozens of hours drawing this. I should think about something to get back as a gift. Probably not another manga. It would look like something drawn by a five-year-old. But anyway, it's time to get ready. I'm making my college debut tonight. Got to impress all those university girls. Especially one or two in particular.
And that is actually a great place to leave it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you all in the next one.